recording say <laughs> something for fuck's sake? Sonic CD. Yeah, let's go with that. Yay! Sonic Sud. Sonic CD. This yes. is like my favourite Sonic game ever. This was a Sonic game that nobody played because it came out on the Mega CD, and then um, when they ported it to uh, everything that wasn't a Nintendo console, people played it, finally. And also as well, we've got like roulette mystery soundtrack. We don't know whether it's going to be the Japanese or the US one because here at Firebutton we're divided about which soundtrack is the best one ever. Ah! Which one is it? It's a Japanese one. Okay. Oh well. Best soundtrack ever! Shut up. No, it's, it's okay. Both it's of always them, a point both of contestation, both of them, isn't it? Both of them have merits, but it's... I'll just delete that one that's the, Palm Tree Panic one. <laughs> the, the US one is my personal favourite, uh, but start. I like... I oh. like the, the Japanese one as well. Sonic, no, not Tails, for fuck's sake! <laughs> okay, okay. Oh yeah, this is the Bells of ah! War release. Animation. Yeah, I like sing along to this, but the reason the uh, lyrics were stripped is copyright um, sort of reasons. So. Oh, wait. Um, no, that's Son Sonic Boom. Yeah, it is. Mm. Ah! For some reason, it got the. Japanese intro music. Okay, that, that means I just accidentally said that the American soundtrack was the best soundtrack ever. Hey, so just because so, the ear so noises... You all can lord it over <laughs> me later for saying that. Jay, it's okay. You're They're both good. Like it's, all, like. it's all cool. That's are, why we're roulette Yeah, this they, they, they are both good, which... A lot of you know the fan base is divided over which ones which ones the better. Do you know one. what is the and best they get, thing ever? They get ever? into fights for some reason. Do you know what is the best thing ever? That uh, OC Remix released a uh, a Sonic CD remix album with both soundtracks featured, which is like great because there's some on both sides. Yeah, like this is madness, sort of like best remix ever of uh, Metallic Madness with Lady Wildfire and and, and I corruption. Had to resist to say the word Sparta just then. <laughs> Sorry. It's okay, Steve. Anyway, something a bit different for Five Button today. We are passing the controller, so all of us are in the driving seat. Yes, yes. Uh, since I currently have the controller, I guess I'm doing level one. I guess I'm doing level two and Harry's boss in level one again. Okie doke. Are we, are we just doing like vanilla playthrough, just getting through to the end? Are we going to try for Snatchel Snages? Uh, we could play by ear. I like the Snatchel Snages. I, I like the Snatchel Snages, they're really fun. By the way, I'm Steve. I don't think we actually introduced ourselves. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, hello, Steve. I'm, I'm H. I'm Jay. Right. We have so, half the alphabet. Fake 3D loop the loop there. <laughs> oh, it doesn't matter. Oh, this is my favourite Sonic it, it, game. This game is so fake. Sonic CD with its fake it's such 3D. such a poser. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> Give me the history then. This is the original incarnation of Sonic 2, but didn't get make out in time? Is no. that about right? No. This no? is like alternate universe Sonic 1. Oh, uh, okay. Which is why you'll see parallels. You yeah, know, the, like, this is like Green Hill Zone. The actual thing was Mega, Mega CD came out, and uh, the original plan, and it didn't last long at all, was to do extended versions of Mega Drive games. Okay. Um, they got around to doing uh, Soul Feast, a uh, shooting game that uh, nobody liked. I have to be honest, I've never heard of it. Yeah, they got around to doing Sonic, and that's, like, literally it. <laughs> this, the Sonic CD, this both is and isn't canon, isn't it? Uh, to get into the realms of Sonic canon is a very different and strange place that I'm afraid to even go near. To be honest, yeah, I, I think I think it's been made Sonic canon because uh, Sonic Four references it. But it was never canon before Sonic Generations. I don't know. Metal Sonic appeared in Sonic Heroes, and he starts out. He uh, appears more menacing and badass, but by the end of it, he looks like his incarnation in this. Hmm. The, these kind of conversations make me want to cannon to the head. Yeah, that, yeah. Why? I, I, I don't know. It's, you know I don't play games for story at all. It's I'm not like... talking about story. I'm talking about does does this game exist in the other franchise? Because I like it as a standalone well, thing. What other franchise? This Harry is basically is trying to figure out where franchise. in the narrative it would sit. The new one, long-legged, green-eyed Sonic. Uh, yeah, I think it fits, because Amy and... Metal Sonic and stuff. My eyes! Oh yeah, oh yeah, this is, uh, I forgot how smooth this, uh, special stage is on the, the Xbox. Yeah. Um, yeah, but this is, uh, a Amy's first appearance, and to be honest, I like this Amy way better than the new Amy, because old Amy had a lot of character. And she was quiet. I got the trivia on this one, actually. Amy's original name, and you see this as a subtitle when you play, um, as her in, uh, Sonic the Fighters was Rosie the Rascal, because her original design, with the uh, like hair uh, bandana thing, was based on Rosie the Riveter. You know, the, the, uh, the wartime, uh, you can do it poster. Yep, you can do the thing. 
You can do the thing. Oh, no, Steve. Steve, so. Prepare to be amazed. Yeah, so. No, Steve, go. I will show you just how fantastically shit. Live your dreams. I, am. I don't know. I, I didn't really equip myself very well there. I was sort of meandered a bit through the first level. Well, and... this is a casual game. Yeah, you know, we yeah. Know this shit, We're yeah. casuals. We don't play games for a living. Yeah, casual. Casuals? I don't well, know. I'm not wearing Smart an anorak casual. on this, that's for sure. Uh, <laughs> wearing the anorak. Uh, isn't it, you know, it used to be wearing an anorak being like you are the uh, buffed up nerd of it or kind of thing? Yeah, it's a, it's a train spotting, um, not the film, but actual train spotting sort of. Um, oh, you know, like sitting out watching sitting the out trains in, the cold, in your yeah. anorak and your flask and your notebook. Yeah, I'm these, afraid. These days, I think the equivalent of that is neckbeards and fedoras. Neckbeards and fedoras? Where did fedoras come into that? Neckbeards, I can understand, but I thought. Fedora's was like just some weird twenties thing. Mm -hmm. uh, it used to be, but like it's sort of been appropriated by um, by by nerds. Yeah, by some young men who are maybe sort of not too socially apt. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, but yeah, you know, if they fancy a bit of style, can't really be asked oh. to buy an entire suit. They just put the fedora You're on. You're talking whilst... to someone who's literally yesterday just ordered a fedora because I, I, I want one. <laughs> I know, it's just sort of got this stigma with people that... Does that make of... me a, geek, a super geek then, now? Yeah. What the fuck is a neck beard? Is it like <laughs> a beard on a neck? Because it... <laughs> I have beard and it goes everywhere and I think I didn't save the future, sorry. Yeah, next... It's alright, wait, it's good. Next it's good. naturally grow beards, you know, cause <laughs> being uh, neighbours with the chin. It's, it's like one of these uh, sort of really unfair stereotypes that somebody comes up with, other people latch onto. Is there and... a thing as a fair stereotype? Oh. Um, I guess not. Steve, right. Go through every stereotype other than zero, you lose. Yeah, exactly. Oh, it doesn't flash when you hit it. Uh, I don't think it does on Sonic, vanilla the other Sonic one. CD. I don't think it does either. Anyway, yeah. That's harsh. I mean, every other one it indicates when you belted it. Yeah, Sonic CD was like the weird child of the, the development of this was uh, split back to, actually. Back to Jake. Um, do you not want to do that one? Oh shit! Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I do, forgot, sorry. Do the thing, jeez. Do the thing, alright, yeah. jeez, gosh. Fine. Could do. So I'm assuming if one of us you know, bites the bullet and dies, we pass the pad on. Do we? That would or, make or... sense. If, because if I, for example, I'm particularly shit on a particular stage. Oh, right. that means you're taking the next one. I'll I'll, uh, I'll bear the brunt of the pinball boss. Oh, gosh, yes, you are bearing the brunt of the <laughs> pinball boss. Yeah, okay. I, 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 I no. Sonic's there got you go, a stalker. There's, there's Amy with a headband, you know, Rose of the River headband. I like this Amy because she's all like Lindy Hop sort of clothed and stuff and she's not all I want to marry Sonic yeah, in the comics actually... she was actually a really good character wasn't well she? Uh, in the uh, uh, European um, Fleetway Sonic comics yeah they turned you know I sort of hate the way this phrase gets bandied around but she really was a strong female character what's wrong she with that she was just a strong character there's nothing wrong with uh, strong female characters but the thing is first and foremost to me strong character yeah, the, 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 the fact that the yeah, the fact that the character is female that should not define them. They should just, just be a that. strong character. Yeah, it's, I'm elaborating on that. Okay. You know, yeah, sort cool. of taking your point, I hate those things. Taking your point and making it into a delicious pie. You like pie, don't you? I like you? pie. Okay, what are carry you? On. Some kind of Nazi? Carry on Jeez. with the pie. Jeez, God. All right, carry on with the pie. <laughs> we haven't actually talked about time travel yet. This is the only Sonic game to feature it, isn't it? Yes. It's kind of strange, but it's actually a very interesting mechanic because you get three different versions of the same level. All right, well, shall I go to the past and um, yeah, try and do the thing? There we go. Totally live so in the past, I, dude. I have, oh, no, I don't want the future thing. You Go back and get the past one, then. I've already used it. You, we oh. this, those lampposts are only, like, one per use. Right, so, yeah, um, for, for the for the viewers' benefit, right? Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. We'll, right, okay, we I'll already go to the saw, We already saw a future. The Act 3s are always in the future. Right, I'm time traveling now. You've got to reach a certain speed to time travel, which Perhaps. is actually a slight reference to Back to the Future, I believe. Yes, uh, Sonic's legs make a eight when he's going at high speed, and two of them will be eighty-eight. Therefore, yes, eighty-eight miles per hour. Back to the Future. Serious so anyway, shit, th this this, this is future, future, yeah, everything's sort of brown and and a bit dingy. So it, I've got to go back to the past. It's now. the bad future. The thing is, you have to go into the past and destroy this like sort of weird. See, there's, there's, there's a past line. Yeah, you have to destroy this weird machinery that uh, sort of creates the uh, the badnik enemies in order to make the future good. Which, the, the good futures are all brighter colours, uh, jollier soundtracks, and they actually have no badniks wandering around. It's all just the animals, you're free from them in the other games. Is it kind of bad that I actually do prefer most of the bad future soundtracks? Well, yeah, the, the bad futures uh, all have great soundtracks. In, they're sort of more atmospheric in the US version. There we go. 
uh, in the in the Japanese version, they're all like post-apocalyptic techno. So mm. you know, that's so why you, are... you like the Japanese soundtrack as post-apocalyptic yes. techno. <laughs> but, no, that's cool. You I know, love Burma. you're just allowed to like the bad futures because far superior soundtrack. That and the whole mechanical setting. I don't I know. I think there's a good mixed bag. For example, um, Tidal Tempest. Um, you know, present. Oh, that's that's a great track. It's a bit funky and a bit silly. Oh, the, yeah, the US one, yes, definitely. And both Good Future and Bad Future start a speedway, you know. So, you know, there you're, is a you're good... You're again talking some... US one for viewers' benefit. Well, that's that's the one I'm mostly familiar with, yeah. I guess. But, yeah, I'm um, just clarifying. They, no, there is, there is a good mixed bag of good tracks for both past and future and present. Oh, piss off! Yeah, on the Japanese side, I mean, uh, oh, I'm back again, here, both Stardust speedways are... Uh, are do you know what? Funky. I'm going to finish this stage and I'll go to the past and to destroy the thing on a different level because Collision Chaos on particularly the Xbox version because the physics are just slightly different and I'm more likely to get stuck here. Yeah, the, the thing with uh, with this, um, okay, so the physics being different. Now, at the beginning of the game, you notice a thing that says um, sort of something blah blah Christian, Christian Whitehead. Whitehead, yeah. Also known as Taxman in the Sonic scene. Um, the thing is, he put together this uh, fan game engine, you know, for um, very, very Sonic like physics for people to make fan games. It's called the Retro Engine, the Retro Sonic Engine. And um, the thing about that is, uh, he ported Sonic CD um, to the PC. Um, using this, I think it was like the first act or something, sent it to Sega <laughs> as a proof of concept. Like, look, you don't really do anything with this game, and here I've got this engine that can port it. Now, it wasn't perfect for Sonic CD, but the thing is, Sonic CD's phys physics weren't perfect for the rest of the Sonic series. This sort of brings them more in line with the Sonic series as a, gen as a general whole, but. Uh... I'm stuck! <laughs> No, I hate gambling yeah, levels in general. It's sort of go. annoying, though. There Fuck out of me. Right, yeah, and. Um, Carry on. He, he he basically got the job of porting it um, like that, and uh, and from that the um, oh, first version of this, the iOS version of Sonic One and Two, and hopefully Sonic Three and Knuckles say a lot of the um, Sonic scene that revere that as the next Half Life Three in the past. <laughs> I don't know. They sort of make it like it's, it's a second coming, but so I've done so wank. I've got four rings, which means I don't get to see a bonus stage. Oh, Collision Chaos on this one can just go fuck it. It was meant to be my go. No, it wasn't. That was Act 1. No. Jay's go. No, I'm no. losing track of... You're having this one. Uh, you are having this one because me, you do not want one. the pinball boss. You do not want the pin... Do not pick the titchy ones. <laughs> do not pick the titchy ones. I, I... Oh, that's a whole other kettle of fish. <laughs> uh, I've got a question. Did he have the spin dash in the original Sonic CD? It was yes. a different spin dash, actually. There yeah. are two different ones, actually. You've got the roll in a ball one. And yeah. then you've got the uh, sort of like run on the spot thing. Yeah, the uh, the super peel out as it's uh, super referred to. Super peel out. I, I have no idea why it has that dumb name. No, yeah, I don't know. But I I've think it's cool in a dumb way. I, you know, fuck that. No. <laughs> I will be cautious. Steve, do the thing where you go into the past. No, uh, no, just let him do the thing. Uh, I need to save the future. Right, Collision right. chaos right, is the not red spring. the right place I, to I'm demonstrate back seat, this. Back yeah, that's fine. Here. Ah, I see. I, I see what I need to do. Yes, yes, you have a canned speed section here, so uh, use it to time yep. travel. Yep. Fire up the conosphere. We're gonna stop Hitler. And Most levels have learn. these like little canned speed sections where you can time travel. Some um, they're few and far between, so you gotta get creative. Mhm. Mm <laughs> so now you're in the past. Right. Now where am I going? Uh, Jay? Just finish the level. <laughs> Just get out of the fucking level, well, all Steve! I, all I wanted to do was, like, show the past. I mean, on the first act I, I that I played, I actually destroyed the thing. That's the there thing. There you go, that's the thing you got to destroy. I saved the future. Not quite, you because know, we missed the first one. Ignoring audience principle, I didn't bother explaining what it was. It's like, yep, yeah, herp derp I'm just playing the fucking Sonic. So, uh, yeah, I'm a terrible on these videos. So, what is the thing, Jay? The thing that Steve destroyed. Mm-hmm. It, it, it somehow creates bad nicks. Basically, dumb animals wander into it and get... <laughs> yeah, they get roboticized okay. to use uh, terminology from the cartoons. Satam. Satam. So you've gone back to the present now, which yeah. is... Back... Still got bad nicks in it for no reason. Well, yeah, that's because it's the present. You're not in the future yet. But... Yeah, it... but not really sure how that works, <laughs> but that is the way it works. It's so... the way it works on Sonic CD. 
So suck it in, Steve. But time travel doesn't... <laughs> time travel, really, doesn't actually physically exist, nor is it actually thought to be um, actually but, possible. So... By the way, Steve, don't worry too much if you suck on this level, because Collision Chaos is a bit of a steep bastard for a second level. And it's my favourite kind of Sonic level, a gambling-ish themed one with all the bumpers. I, I hate those kind of levels. Yeah, the, the flippers on this, it's worth noting, don't actually work like flippers. They're just a really high jump. <laughs> eh, fucking embryo things. What? I don't know. Embryo like, things. Baby Metroids or something. Yeah, huh? Think, think of the force from our type, because everything is our type. Yeah, well, everything's our type. With going down is not a bad call. No, no, it's good. You can go down. Yeah, if you want to die. No, it's not that bad. No, I was kidding. Go easy on the new. See that flower? It's where a bad nick used to be. Yeah. You, you, you cleared some of them up. See, you have influenced the present. I am Batman. What, the blue hedgehog equivalent of Batman? No, hedgehog man. Oh, no. I'm Don't worry. But I've it's got, cool. I have many shiny rings. Steve? Yes? Do you feel up to doing the special stage if you... If, I, I, if, I, if I actually, by some paradoxical reason, get to it, I will Okay, not maybe not. Aw. <laughs> <laughs> oh. That's okay. I was so close. That's cool. It's what you get for hesitating and jumping into spikes. That's the problem, it's my first time playing this properly, so... Um... How dare you be bad at games you haven't played, Steve? <laughs> I'm, um... The internet wants a word with you, you fucking faker. <laughs> Shut up, faker. You're a horrible person. I am, yeah. Comparing yourself to me, you're not even good enough to be my fake. I'll make you eat those words! But Sonic came first! Shadow's the fake! Actually, apparently, with the whole the thing, technically, Shadow's around, isn't he? He was made... Where the hell is Shadow... Oh, I know! It's just Where the... the hell is Shadow the Hedgehog in Spring Hill Zone, hmm? Spring Hill Zone? Spring oh, no, Hill Zone. I'm talking Zone. not in game development terms, I'm talking narratively speaking. I think I've got mixed up. Th this, this is why I don't really... <laughs> Spring Hill Zone! I don't really Spring care about the story, because it's like... <laughs> You'll get all kinds of confused. Yeah, but it, you say that, Satan was brilliant. For that Sonic Cartoon. But... That wasn't a game! <laughs> it was a cartoon! It has nothing to do with the game! Yeah, it makes more it's a sense. marketing tool! <laughs> it makes I more know. sense than the, uh, the later games, though, because, you know, it makes more sense for it to be set on Mobius than it is on Earth, because where on Earth do you get wandering around Blue Hedgehog? It was, it was always apparently set on Earth. Yes, I know, but... But seriously, have you seen the new games where you've got humans talk? You know, you've got the yeah, present talking looks, to a big The only human hedgehog. we like is that really egg shaped at one least with the moustache. At least on Mobius, all the planet's citizens are, you know, have internally consistent logic with the rest of the, you know, game, you know? It makes more sense. So, this is Labyrinth Zone version 2.0? Yeah, this is Alternate Universe Labyrinth Zone. Yeah. Uh, okay. So you can sort of identify like the equivalents here if you're treating this as like a retelling of uh, Sonic the Hedgehog. You will Sonic note one director's yeah, cut. Yeah, you will note that uh, Marble Zone has been completely glossed over. Uh, there was going to be a zone in its place, a sort of uh, desert dazzle, as, as they now call it, but uh, it didn't happen. It just didn't happen. Apparently, it was of really low quality in the PC version of uh, this game. The original one, or I got the, the Whitehead one. The the, uh, the Christian Whitehead one. You can apparently, oh. uh, with some amount of hacking, get um, his own take on Desert Dazzle. Yeah. Unfinished and stuff. <laughs> Saying that, didn't the re-release of Sonic Two get um... Hidden Palace? That's the one. Yes. Again, a good old tax man, Christian Whitehead, he, uh, he put Hidden Palace in there. You will never hear the phrase, good old tax man, except in reference to that, really. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. That might actually be the joke, who knows? Uh, 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 this level seems... Oh, I'm, you probably I'm... should have gone up the floaty pipe. Yeah, I really should have gone up the floaty pipe, actually. Yeah, so how um... come this didn't see a sequel, like a Sonic CD2? Because I don't think it needed one. It, well, no, I mean, like, he could have done a retelling of it, Sonic it 2. It was on the Mega CD, time. therefore nobody played it. Uh, oh. oh, fuck you, tiny one pixel large. I know, we're not really doing good with the rings, are we? <laughs> fuck! Fuck your fucking fuck. There, there. See, that's that's the thing. Someone's frustrated. That is my uh, best Ego Raptor impression. I say fuck and everything. 
Fuck you. It, it, it's, it's not. We like Aaron Hansen. He animates good. Yeah, he animates good, and we didn't totally rip off Game Grumps with the whole uh, gamers on a couch thing. No, we didn't. Huh? They do the gamers on a couch thing? Yeah, that's, that's what Game Grumps is. I clearly live under a rock. No, we did this because we were doing it in your... We were doing it in the front room and thinking, hey, we should record this shit because the shit we talk about when we're playing games is funny. Yeah, we went through the entirety of uh, we PlayStation were. <laughs> Doom. Uh, we went through the entirety of um, Metroid. Super Metroid. We went through the entirety of Tomb Raider Legend in my front room. And we're all like, you know, we have we have quite a bit of banter going on here. This is this is kind of entertaining. We should do this. And We've been doing it ever since. Yeah. Actually, Steve. Sorry. What? Little bone to pick with you on that one. <laughs> Why? What did I do? We started Legend of Zelda off oh. the <laughs> yeah. Ocarina of Time. And Link to the Past. No, we didn't start Link to the Past. No. No. You were talking about it we after Ocarina about it. of Time. After Ocarina of Time, yeah. Which we started Ocarina of Time. Um, I believe we got to the bit where Link's a grown up and just fucking left it. We're just like, yeah, we're recording videos now. <laughs> We got no time for Zelda. <laughs> we have plenty of time you for Zelda. You big fat sack of bollock. <laughs> tell you what, then we we shout. Oh, there's a giant thumbnail. You have had all the Sneshel Snages. That's so a thumbnail. Far. What's the thumbnail? A literal thumb. Where? With a nail. Where? The background. It's Jupiter. It's Jupiter. You. It looks like a thumb with a nail. <laughs> what it's kind Jupiter, of thumbs you big do you sack have? of bollock. Unless you've got a thumb made of bacon, I don't actually <laughs> think that looks anything like your description. Considering <laughs> how mangled my thumbs are from all the chewing. Um, Look, no Steve, comment. Steve, your thumb is not bacon. <laughs> that's that's all I have to say to you. <laughs> <laughs> this reminds oh, me of F Zero. Yes. <laughs> to get back to the game. <laughs> <laughs> to get back to the game and off Steve's <laughs> Steve's meaty thumbs. <laughs> oh. Where the fuck is he? The... There. Dar, you big sack of bollock. Why don't you use a wider circle instead of a really tight one? Fucking hell, I'm, <laughs> that thing moves fast. <laughs> <laughs> it's not my fuck. It's not my day, is it? Go a bit. Oh, Let's oh do no, this. go. Do oh. Get the time one. Whoa, whoa. Even I know that's the time one. It pissed off. Like, get the time one. Oh shit! Yeah, you shit. <laughs> Beds have been shat. <sighs> the moral of the story is that whenever anyone's um, backseat playing on Fireball, <laughs> everything goes wrong. Oh. That's because you didn't listen. Doing, Wait, you uh... just had the thing, didn't you? It's 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 H's turn. Oh right, oh. Can, can we even feasibly save the future now? Yeah. No. We can. No, everything's everything's dead, Dave. No. <laughs> no, I th I think like we're not going to uh, with the doohickey mick. Oh no, we'd have to get all the time stones. Machinery fuck. Yeah, we can do it with the time <laughs> stones. Yeah. With all the machinery. There, fuck. There, there are two ways to get the good ending. One is to get all the time stones, and the other is to get all the. The doohickey uh, machinery fuck. The doohickey machinery <laughs> fuck in every level. And we've missed some of the doohickey machinery fuck, so that one's that one's a dead end. No. Yeah. Come on. There we if go. we get all the not chaos emerald time stones, we might actually. Uh, well, I'm gonna try not to lose all my rings this time. I have no idea where I'm, I'm going. I'm surprised they didn't sneak in in this version because I mean they snuck tails in. They didn't put in a a, a time stone supersonic kind of thing. I oh, don't think in games needed supersonic. Though. I'm not saying. Well, you know they could have done something different with it as opposed to making Sonic faster and invulnerable. Oh, for fuck's sake! He can control the flow of time and make the game move slower for heightened reactions. That's actually kind of cool sounding. You know, they're kind of like bullet time for a platformer. I don't know. Bullet time for no, a yeah, platformer? That, 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 You've got tool assisted, assisted, assisted speed running for that. Yeah, but I mean, you can unlock it for your own use. I don't know. It just, it, uh, something time related. Tool assisted speed mood. running must be dull as hell. I mean, you know, don't. I'm not knocking it. Oh, for fuck's sake! You keep doing the <laughs> same thing! Except the last time it worked. Yeah, that, that one time. I remember that. Happy memories. So hang on. Right. The, the, the animals fuel the badniks. Yeah? That's generally a, a consensus for the Genesis and Mega Drive era, era Sonic yeah. games. Oh, Why off. are they turning into flowers? Because, because this, this was the different one. Flowers. <laughs> it was the awkward child. Yeah, this, this, <laughs> this one was just going to be different for the sake of being different. Trouble child. You've got four children. Three of them say yes, I'll ice cream. The other one says no, I want apple pudding. <laughs> <laughs> 
Apple this one's pudding. apple pudding. You know, this was the one that said, no, I don't want ice cream. I want uh, your is... head on a stick. What is apple pudding? I don't know, but my stepdaughter loves it. Pudding oh, right. oh. made with apple. You mean apple. it actually exists? Yeah. It's um, Behind that pastries switch. with apple filling. You hit the switch first, though. Oh, no, you don't have to. Never mind. I got it. It's cool. I'm on the you shit, yo. You can do the thing. And just try not rings. to lose all my shit. It's all right. That was the thing that I needed to be in the past to get. No, is this but a I'm present? But I'm not going to do that. This is the present. Oh, well, you, you get you get a sh special... Yeah! Special stage. Watch me suck balls. Yeah, after Jay's previous performance, <laughs> I'm pretty sure we're okay. I am king! You know, what's great is I'm, I'm the Sonic fan amongst, like, all, all the Fire Button guys, so I should be able to do all this shit. You but should. No. I should. You should. You are a disappointment. In theory. <laughs> Go and stand in the corner and it's, think about look, what you have not done. In theory, I should be able to. It's not been peer reviewed. There is no official paper. Oh, no. I distinctly remember when we were trying to do our Why first video. Why is there a blue Jay. one already here? I thought the blue ones were just time ones. Jay, no, do Sonic. No, good on this one, they, uh, they've like colour-coded the, 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 the speed ones and the ring ones. Uh-oh. Huh? Speed ones and ring ones? Yeah, because half of them give you uh, speed shoes. I actually did not know that. I've just been trying to catch them all and not really paying attention to what they do. Good That's yellow my Pokemon rings. Strategy. Right, okay. the, the ones with the white stripe. Look, speed shoes. Right. You, you mean... find something new out every day. Oh, yeah. I feel yeah, good. Yeah, you've made me look like a fucking amateur. I hate you. <laughs> good. Speaking of amateurs. There we go, Steve. <laughs> oh, we saved Steve, like, from the previous boss only to get... This boss. This boss is fairly straightforward, though. You just gotta keep, you know, jumping at it, avoid the shots. Do the know. thing where you beat him up and not die. Well, you don't even have yeah, to that. beat him up. You just need to get one shot in after you've uh, got rid of his ring of bubbles. Ah. Uh -huh. So just, uh, just don't die. Get, get a hit in. Kick bomb. Don't Spoilers die. Spoilers yeah. for the audience. We're playing a game. <laughs> what? Ah, uh, this place looks like Turkeny all of a sudden. It does a bit, doesn't it? Yeah. Turrican you know, An metallic. adjective meaning looking like it came out of the game. Turrican. Yeah. Turrican sounds like some herb or spice. Right, I've hit him definitely <laughs> more than once. Well, yeah, yeah you've well, got to hit him. Sorry, we were on about the actual boss part and not the chase part. All right, okay, so. Yeah, this this is this is practically the boss part. You just need to get one more hit in. Oh yeah, I forgot they recolored the water on this. No, they didn't recolor it. They left it at the color it was. No. They recolored it after it got rid of the color. They put the color back. They restored Re the color. There they, we go. they didn't recolor it there. It they made <laughs> sense to the dyslexic. <laughs> so this is actually that Metropolis Zone boss, just with a with, twist with bubbles, yeah, and blasters. So this, uh, you know, sort of uh, you asked about the development, Would and uh, I was just sort of describing it. Yeah, this the development of this happened Yay, at the same time go. as now, Sonic Two. The development split. Um, you had the uh, main programmer, Yuji Naka, fly off to America, basically. Um, I don't know whether there was actually any flying off with America, but a lot of Americans contributed to... Uh, first stage of the next oh, yeah, shit. ...to the development of Sonic 2, which was sort of more Western in development, and the Japanese arm did Sonic CD. You know, at the same time. Um, heading up this one was character designer, Naruto Oshima, who... Uh, was he the knuckle guy? No, he was not. Naruto knuckle Oshima. guy? The guy, that, oh. the guy that developed, developed Knuckles was uh, Takashi Thomas Yuda. Oh, all right. Anyways, so, um, you know, the uh, the director of this, so to speak, uh, was now Toshima, original character designer. Um, he uh, later went on to uh, design the character of Knight, is a Knight in Knights and Dreams, uh, Blinks the Time Sweeper, uh, Pinobi, The Wings of Adventure. You know, those kind of things. Is it Wings of Adventure? I don't fucking know. Mm -hmm. But, uh, yeah, it's stuff that a lot of people haven't even bloody heard of. Coming well, soon, the fire button near you. Yeah, whereas, whereas Yuji Naka just sort of um, really <coughs> spammed the Sonic thing until he left um, Sonic Team to do uh, Ivy the Kiwi on uh, DS, amongst other things. Okay. Huh? How do I... Slow down, Steve. There's a gap you're almost falling into. Oh, okay. Aha. Uh -huh. 
Panic over. Steve, get special stirs. Go, Steve! Unless you want uh, to no, go. I, I will, I will pick on. up the gauntlet. Go! And I will probably flush it down the toilet, but we'll see how we go. You, you can't, can't Steve, be as bad as Jay, sure. the thing, you can do it. <laughs> do the thing where you put the bread in the box and burn it. No. That's black box, isn't it? That's, that's Sonic. No, that's just Dylan Moran. Uh, this, this is a wonderful background. Ah, uh, no, I prefer the green one. The uh. green one is all kinds of space unit. I can't decide. Yeah, can this, I this isn't right. a zero sum game, you know. Just try because this background is nice does not mean another background Steve. is not also Steve. nice. Yes. Try not to land in the water because that will sap time from your timer. Yes. And, you know, destroy the things. That's all you need to do. Kill all sons of bitches. Pressing, oh, the, shit, for shit. pressing the forward button will accelerate you. Can I decelerate? Um, yeah, just press the backwards button. Alright. It'll only sort of decelerate you to a certain degree. Yeah, yeah. And oh, will allow sugar. you to take okay. tighter um, circles as well. Right, go! Oh, oh no! Oh! You nearly no, had it! First you nearly had it! It's good! <sighs> it's still good! It's just a little airborne, it's still good, it's still good. <laughs> I blame the water because isn't that the villain of the piece, really? Yeah, yeah, blame the hazards. If it weren't for hazards, we'd all be completing games and they'd be boring. <laughs> They'd just be like, yeah, do the thing. Yeah, just, there's no pressure, just do it. So we're in a cave? This is Quartz Quadrant. A, 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 a diamondy cave? Kind of. Yeah. It was a diamondy cave, but now I've gone into the past. It's like sort of. Um, a quarry thing. No, it's not, it's just a, a, boring a cavern. Cave. A boring cave. <laughs> I like the past. The colours are a bit garish. Yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll concede that one, but I, I like the past because the music's great. It's um, only because it's the Japanese music. Well, yeah, but we've got the American. Yeah, but all the past, all the past musics have the Japanese music because. What, was... regardless of? Yep. Oh, yep. That. The original Mega CD version. Yeah, you're gonna get like the technical description here. The original Mega CD version. The uh, the past musics were uh, all uh, on the chip. They weren't uh, Redbook CD audio. Therefore, they weren't actually easy to replace. Oh, okay. So they didn't do it. Do it. So, so that's was... kind of why it doesn't really fit with the rest of the music. But it's I actually do kind of like it that there is still a little bit of the Japanese soundtrack there, it's even a... though they're not to my taste personally. But you know, it's in a, a way, nice choice, oh shit! In a way, it kind of make, makes it the past music, as in you know before the change to the US one. So you know, that's, that's, that is cool. I, I do it's like very that. meta. It's a nice touch that they actually even bothered to do it. I mean, uh, you know, how many other games just get re uh, ported to a different country and don't get rescored? Well, that, that was it was mainly because uh, there was a perception that the Americans would find like uh, this sort of dance music stuff that was big in Europe at the time that they'd find it completely offensive the, to their ears. That's yeah, why we got Japanese. Yeah, we got the Japanese one because uh, most of it was really influenced by um, dance and house music. You know, it's very uh, sort of alternate to unlimited. Eurobeat. Yeah, a lot of that kind of thing. Which is, you know, that that was my era. I loved that stuff. That's why I like the Japanese soundtrack. Jay, do the thing. Don't screw up. It, now you've said that, I'm <laughs> gonna, everything's going to explode. The world is dead, and it's your fault for for telling me that. My plan is complete. Oh, this background is cool as well. Casino night zone. -ish. It's kind of like you're inside one of those little UFO things. You know, only a giant one. We're in a giant it's, wobbly. You're, UFO. you're a inside city. a giant little UFO. <laughs> <laughs> it makes sense. <laughs> little Big Planet did it. Little Big Adventure did it. Why can't I do it? Because Screw you. Live your dreams. Because I'm the boss of you. No, you are not. Screw the man. <laughs> I don't even know what I'm talking about anymore. <laughs> <laughs> None of us do on these banters. We just sort of open our mouths and... Brain falls bollocks. out. <laughs> yeah. Our brains leak out like, like mouldy spaghetti. Ew. So this has got a bit of a tronish perimeter, and it, it's like a chemical plant, but black. I don't know. I, I, I so, yeah. like a chemical plant. I don't know. I like it anyway. Do yeah, the thing. This, so this is what's the name of the fucking the SNES thing? The Mode Seven stuff. Yeah, is this meant to be some uh, they say a counterpart to that? Well, the Mega CD could do um, that kind of thing. So uh, basically, yes. Yeah. You know, the, and the thing was that um, I don't know whether you sort of remember back to the uh, the Mega Drive Sonic era, but every single Sonic had a uh, new sort of and graphically brown, brown breaking. 
<laughs> groundbreaking. Yes, groundbreaking at the time, um, special stage that uh, really pushed the envelope. I mean, you know, sort of Way. on on the Sega on on Sonic One, you had the uh, rotating sort of um, mazes. Oh, it's me. Aha. You know, which, which was like that was sort of sprite rotation. The Mega Drive couldn't really do. It was a cheat, though. Are you sure it's me? Yes. Yeah, oh, it's right. you. Okay. It's you. That's me. Jeez. Okay. We we'll rejig the order after that second boss. Oh yeah, that's why. I'm so anyway, yeah, Sonic Two had the uh, had the pipe, the three D pipe that you run into, and that was great at the time. Nobody seen anything like that. <clears throat> uh, Sonic Three and or Knuckles had the uh, the the sphere. Blue sphere. Yeah, get blue balls. Um, thing. <laughs> is this but, the boss? Uh, yeah. It is. I've lost track. And yeah, Sonic CD had the uh, Mario Kart F Zero style um, thing. You know, it was just a thing. The special stages were all designed to wow the player. And they were meant to be special. Back in the day, they did. That's not because everybody had really pitifully poor low standards. It's just because the technology. You know, it's... Ah, that goes well, a lot faster than I'm used to. <laughs> It was sort of exciting being like back then and seeing Fuck. where technology went. Yeah, you know, I'm doing so shit. It, it, it's stuff that uh, a lot of gamers uh, these days don't actually. They don't get that excitement because there's this sort of jaded expectation that the next generation is just going to be like uh, more polygons, better shaders, more realism. You know, there is no new technology and new styles being used. Yeah, it was like sort of really exciting Fuck. back then. Not only the new technology, but the new creative uses of it. Uh, and these days, you, you know, it, it, <laughs> it, it's the given that it's going to be more realistic. Come on! Yeah, why are you panicking here? No. <laughs> I, I'm just being like Mr. Dull, <laughs> Dull video game industry commentator. Oh, I, dear. So that, went, that went well. Yeah, yeah okay. Could have gone a little better. bit of mild what's, peril what's trivia. Oh, it, it's khaki workbench. Khaki, oh yeah. It's, hey, it's... Me. Oh yeah, Boss. I'm sorry. I look at the pad and I think, mine. <laughs> it's alright, you got the second one of this one. Wacky oh. Workbench. Famously, this is the one that I always describe as the one the work experience kid designed. It's I not that bad. It could be better, but... Um, hey, all I know is, bad future has good music. To be honest, I think um, Collision Chaos has the potential to be just as annoying as this one. Yeah. There's a common theme. Both of them have shit that bounce you around without your permission. At least this one's reasonably easier to keep. Sensual bouncing. Yeah, yeah. The, the, <laughs> these levels violate <coughs> the player's consent and jump them very high into the air without their permission. You know, that 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 is a no-no. As I was saying, um, this one is reasonably easy to get back under control, though. You know, because you haven't got springs sort of propelling you up at odd angles. At least you can just get, you know, it once it gets you to the top, like here, you know, you can just lower yourself down gradually and try not to die. Yeah. It's not quite flying battery zone, is it? Though, I, I will say, right, at the being bounced up, one of the problems I've got with this is the, that <clears> many <throat> of the platforms are soft on the bottom and have collision on the top. Totally, I hate that. Therefore, it makes no sense. Yeah, you'll be bounced well up and it's going to take a lot of time for you to get back down to the bottom sometimes. Just like that. Well, you, you sort of you got off lightly there. I know, but you know, it's, it's a little taster of what, you know. Yeah. Am I going to expect horrible, oh, for horrible fuck's misery sake. Am I go? Yes, because you're getting like a really terrible act. That H is probably going to say isn't that bad, and then go on to describe why it's bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's not that bad. It's just a little slime. It's still oh, good. It's still so. good. I'm trying to keep hold of my rings. Ugh. Where does all the bombs come from? They weren't in the original. They, they were. We just usually sort of get rid of those things before. What time Are you sure? We usually jump into them before they laid so many bombs. I don't know. I don't remember encountering many. They are in the other version. <laughs> We're gonna play the other one, and I'm gonna see for myself. Show the worst me. part is I have to just take the w I have to take your word for it because it's the only version I've ever really played. Oh, Steve, you need a Mega CD. Start. Oh, I've got the Sonic is it Gems collection. You could just come round to our house. Or, or just come round to our house. That yeah. That makes things a lot more simple. A lot more simple. But get a Mega CD. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody played them and they're shit. But get one. <laughs> You're not selling it, you know. I know. That's like the entire point. I'm getting Dreamcast vibe from it, is it that kind of thing? No, because wankers like the Dreamcast. 
Oh. <laughs> was it, so the, the Mega CD was critically panned? Yeah. I remember being given a game for one, even though I never owned it. Uh, never owned a Mega CD. Time Gap? Time Gap. Oh, yeah, you ended up with my old Japanese copy. Mm. Looked a bit like the original Dirty Pair meets Dragon's Lair. Why? Even though you didn't have a, a, a Sonic CD? No. I think Jay Even just wanted didn't... rid of it. Alright. Um, I honestly can't remember. Oh, uh, I can't remember. Piddly rings. Go on, Steve. I will show you how I um, flail violently. We haven't died yet. No. This time yet. Now, now we will, now you've said that. Yeah. But um. Just to put that in viewers' perspectives. So you hear that suck as hard as you say? That's because I'm being uber cautious. Like, we've got Jay who's breakneck master man. We've got, you know... You who's you, you bring off hazard Harry, yeah. <laughs> and then there's me cowardly being thrust at high speed. Don't like it. Yeah, Steve. but that's only because we're familiar with this, you know. The being cautious is actually the best way. to You, go you about call me it. Breakneck Masterman, and yet yeah, I've probably played as as slow as anybody this time around. Because I it's, it's not been, exactly Sonic One. No, it? it's been a while since I did the whole time attack time trial thing on um, so Sonic CD, so I don't really know it so well. Job. Oh, oh not. Let's pass to figure out. Go for it. Yeah, all right. Go for it. Might be friendlier. Mm. Probably not. These are very garish colours, but How do I... there we go. oddly, I kind of like them. <laughs> yeah, I I like the the, uh, the stylized awesome. background. You know, the sort yeah. of cliffs Sorry. with the, the. Let me go. They're just uh... marshmallow cliffs. I told you. Oh, is it past the controller or not? One more. Ass. Go on, One Steve. More. Okay. Revengeance. I mean, um, uh, start. Revengeance isn't a fucking word. But the, 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 the thing, the bad guy making thing, I'm a bastard maker. It's up here. The bastard maker. It's all oh, like... that's what it's called now. Oh. Destroy the bastard maker and yeah, save the go, future. Go in the wall. In the wall. What? Go in the wall. In the wall. Um, hey, there we go. Oh. Yay! I got. I, I gone in the wall. <laughs> oh, dear. oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs> I need a ring or I'm gonna die. <laughs> I don't know. That red I spring will so help. Funny. Yeah, the, what the red spring, yeah? Yeah, yeah, the red spring will help. It will. You're right. Uh, you're, you're right. 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 <coughs> Alright, yay! yay! You did now the thing! Let's, let's do the thing where we die. No, don't die! A good future was made. Finally! In one level. <laughs> oh yeah, it, it, was, it wasn't in the previous one, so uh, disregard all my uh, comments there. Actually, that's the point. Wacky Workbench looks like um, Hilltop Zone's like cousin in the background. A little bit, I guess. Yeah, with a little bit of Stick Canyon from Nights into Dreams thrown in. I always thought that. Hey, they, they died on their own. They died on their own, Jay! You know why? Angina. Because you got, <laughs> you got rid of the Bastard Maker. Yeah. That's why. Is that now its official thing? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you got it. I, I I got this, bruh. Yeah, you got this. <laughs> you got this shit, yo. Why did that start? I don't know. Oh, for, you know what? Just... Yeah, you take the lower route because that top one is going to make you uh, like crunch the controller like cereal. <laughs> <laughs> you just slowly, slowly but surely just hearing the controller break. Oh, yeah. for fuck's sake, I'm sure I can... Oh, the other fucking... Yeah. Take the lower go. route because the upper routes are gonna mirror. Okay. Is there an echo? As much in as here? the lower route as he can, because of the boink thing. Yeah. Well, no. That's that's the problem I've got with. Ah! That's it. Fast part. Okay. Right. That's the problem I've got, like with this um, this zone as a whole, is that uh, by and large, if you keep low, you're gonna get through the uh, zones. But the problem, you know, it's it's like. I thought it used to be go high. At least you don't need to get the bastard maker again. Or is no, it Sonic CD the opposite to this rule? Sonic CD is the opposite. Well, no, this stage is the opposite, but it keeps throwing you high, even though the best routes are the lower ones. Yeah. He it's... does not look happy. Oh no, he's on wacky <laughs> work, Ben. <laughs> you wouldn't be happy. Jay isn't happy. I'm not happy. <laughs> Who the fuck? Work experience, kid. Design this bollocks. I could design a better Sonic level. You, you have done, I think, haven't you? Yes. From ye olde Sonic hack days. Yes, when I was uh, in the On Sonic Sonic, uh, retro. Sonic modding community, Sonic Retro. May it. You are so geek right now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. With your neck beard and your Federer. I, I don't have either of those. <laughs> well, you, you, you I'm wearing a Zelda neck, shirt. You can have the um... neck beard, I could have the fedora, and combined we will be geek hybrid thing. 
I don't know, it was going somewhere. I lost it. <laughs> but but I don't have a neck beard. I'm sorry, darling. I don't have any beard. Yeah, I, I, have, I have too much beard. I have a bit of a Van Dyke going on, but... So we almost had a perfect run, guys, and then I happened. It's all yeah, right. Twice. <laughs> Steve happened twice. The thing that pisses me off is I, had a, I was on those levels for a good minute or two and I didn't hit a single checkpoint. I'm kind of sad. That's yeah, cool. that's another thing about Wacky Workbench. The checkpoints are and all stupid hidden. Stupid places. They're all hidden in bizarre crevices in, in animals' body parts. You know, there's one under the folds of a rhino's fat. Okay. Nice. One in the hippo's nostril. You know, you've really got to look in obscure places for them. So we are going with badly designed level beyond yeah. all belief. Is Shit it game the, for twice. Is it the shittest of the that era of Sonic game levels then? I don't know. Well, it, it's a weird thing. I actually think that Sonic CD has some of the best and some of the worst level designs. Hmm. At least it's got range. <laughs> I, I mean, if you, if you time attack them, you'll know you'll know that uh, some of them are great. You know, like um, definitely Palm Tree Panic, um, Tidal Tempest is uh, is better than you'd think, and uh, from a time attack perspective, so is Quartz Quadrant. But if you're playing sort of just normally, Quartz Quadrant is just really sparse and confusing. I really don't. Uh, did I just go through him? Yeah, you hit him once, and then the collision oh. decided it wasn't. It wasn't. <laughs> I do apologise if you can hear on the audio outside our recording studio, Sutton is happening, so... It is Saturday. Yes, the town of Sutton in Ashfield, in which the recording studio... Uh, Wait, was it, do it does flash when you hit him in the original Sonic CD, because he flashes white. Oh, shit, not paying attention. <laughs> Fuck! Oh, that's mean. Can you get your ring back? Nope. Uh, what happens now? All oh, right. I'll just go back up. <laughs> try not to die. Like highly aggressive thwomps. There we go. Oh, at least it was the last hit. That's really <sighs> that I always like that smoke. That smoke looks great. It's like an angry kettle. But yeah, I... I'm actually really confused because he doesn't flash when you hit him. It's not that visual feedback there. Yeah. They can obviously do a flash because that fucking was just then, wasn't it? Yeah. Mm. Oh well, you know. Changes um, were made. Some of them were great. Some of them weren't. You want to, you want the next? Yeah, you go. You go for it. Okay, okay. Show them how cyber commandos get it. Oh, done. it's factory of death now. Isn't it? Oh <laughs> no, no, it's, it's not. not. No. Oh, Stardust Speedway. It's like, oh, it's a great one. Why is that three on the end oh, of every zone? Oh, that means time? I'm not gonna get the race. I don't think it's a three. Yeah, I know. I just, but it's I just think it's tediously annoying. You. Yeah, it, it's it's tedious that you've mentioned it. I'm sorry. It <laughs> looks like a, bit, you know. What three? No, it's it's just three lines. It's not a three. Did you I... just fall to your death but time travel as well? No, probably. Maybe. I don't know. Actually, you know, the sort of falling to your death thing, it's it's basically a staple of modern Sonic design, especially the well, the 2D and the 3D stuff. But in Sonic CD it hardly ever happens. There are hardly any areas where you fall to the bottom and, and You don't you lose don't your get shit. bottomless pits until, until the, the very next end. one. I think a couple exist. They're like really sparse, but uh, the the bastard maker was down there, right below you. Oh <laughs> right, I wasn't looking for it, but I, I'm I'm trying to get rings. I like how it's actually a thing. I'm, yeah, it I'm is now officially the bastard maker because we didn't know what to call it. It was just the doohickey majigger or something, you know. I don't know. Evil nefarious machines. What are you doing, Sonic? Yeah, what are you doing, Sonic? The go. signs make you go forward and back, you know, in the foreground, background kind of thing. Oh, so it's like tapping on the grills in Mario World. It kind of. very much is, yeah. Oh, I love that when they sort of brought that back in Super Mario Sunshine. They brought it back in Sunshine? Ah. Oh. Oh. Turn how well our last Mario Oops. game went, we'll see what happens. No, I wasn't asking to do I Mario Sunshine. Oh, right. That's long, it's a time sink. It's Jeez. huge, yeah. And it's Mario. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, you just don't like Mario. I really he's, don't. He's some kind of racist. My dad is called Mario. I must have issues. Yeah, bless you. Oh yeah, the, you get these bonus things as well. But it's, it's for points? It, I don't know, I think it is just is for points. Is he stamping on a... He's stamp it, stamping on a bunny. It's, it, it's a holographic projector designed to scare the animals away. Oh. And there's an achievement for getting all those as well as the bastard makers in every zone. I don't have 50 rings! Are you going back for the time stone? 
Mm. Seriously, we are not going to get them right now. There are two more chances to get them, and we've way more than two time stones to get. Fuck. All right, uh, I'll just go the to the end. The future is then. damned. It's yet another banter fail. Uh, no, it's not. As long we as we beat the game. You know, we're, uh, we're, no, we all fail. To get the good ending, that is, we all fail. Well, fuck you. Hey, it's only a banter fail if we don't see the credit it's sequence. Steve. Yeah, Steve. Oh yeah, it's Steve. Yeah, sorry. For example, Guardian Heroes. We kind of need to go back. <laughs> Yeah. Uh. If we can find a way to get any any of the, the Fire Button Studios recording Sega Saturn, that version has to happen. No. Do we it, need a particular cable, don't we? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, that, that thrusters and trumpets and... Yeah, thrusters and trumpets and... So, in Generations, when you fight Metal Sonic, it's on the bad future version of this, isn't it? Yeah. Uh. Which, if you don't get good future right now, we're going to get bad future. I thought we'd get bad future anyway on that one. Isn't that one of the few that's always defaulted to Bad Future? No. No? Oh, okay. What you might be thinking of is on the Japanese soundtrack, the uh, soundtrack always defaults to the Bad Future version, because it's like sort of the Metal Sonic theme. Oh, okay. I prefer the other version the, uh, of the two. One of them is my ringtone, you see. Oh, uh, that's cool. No, oh, I'm not going to change the future, am I? Sorry, guys. No, no, it's, it's cool. We're, uh, we're damned. Uh, do I go... This is a dead end, Steve. Right, okay, thanks. <laughs> that helps. <laughs> Get me out of here! Right. Okay. Oh, nearly. Right approach, but... But, yeah. But you are missing a cigar. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, in, I'm in hell. I'm... Yeah! Da -da 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 -da. Tune in next week when Steve gets stuck down another hole. <laughs> right. oh. no, no! 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 <laughs> no! Are you sure that work experience kid didn't design parts yeah, of this? Yeah, th this, this one is actually a pre pretty bad stage. <laughs> right. By which I mean, it is pretty, but it's also bad. <laughs> it's bad, it's just oh, a little God. bit tedious. No, this, this breaks so many design rules. I mean, it's got this horrible high-speed maze thing. <laughs> it, it's, it's. But it's pretty, There's though. so many paths that just it's, plainly go nowhere. It's pretty. What the fuck is that? It, it's a ghost. Okay. Bruce Willis doing this. <laughs> I just spoiled the sixth sense. Again! All right. Okay. No, the sixth sense was always spoiled. Like milk that came out of a cow rotten. <laughs> you're, you're a very <laughs> cheery guy. <laughs> yeah. I don't know what to say to that. <laughs> Where the fuck am I going? Can I even control the direction of this? Yeah, yeah. you can. Oh, okay. Direct that, me, masters. Um, That way. Left or yeah. right? <laughs> Go, go to the r right, you know, just... We well, need to get out of there first. Yeah. Okay. Alright, on there. Alright. You need to go the opposite way that you are going. No, no, the, the, the way that you're facing, but on the other side of the crossroad. Yeah. Okay, so I need to keep getting to jump the crossroad. Yeah, or, or if you can't jump, that way. you need to hold the... Uh, not that one. Alright, got it. I got it, I think. Next not hold that one, but the next one. That one. Hey, there we go. Oh my god, you little dick moving prick moving fucking. <laughs> I did a level without dying again. Yay! Oh, seemed! I only got lost in a hole. Twice. Yes. Oh, Steve gets final boss. D does it? Does it? Yeah. Is it? Okay. I'm crying now. <laughs> you really are. That will be all the lives lost on that one stage. I don't know, we could like. Um... You know, when a life is lost, you know, just keep going until. I better pass actually the better actually get the life on this stage. You know, just just in case. start preparing. To be, isn't it? Oh gosh, yeah. As well, they made the race like actually really quite tough. Why? What for new people? I mean, I suppose they're they're going to assume mostly because people most buy... modern gay gamers are like most entitled got... douchebags who are like, oh, this game's too easy. Yeah, it's like they, they hit the pause button and pressed restart like 5,000 times in the same night. But because I beat it in the same night, it's too easy. Whoa. Okay, we're going first. Go! Live your dreams, oh, Sonic. The music. Live Is your phone dreams. Going? No, no, it's the music. Uh, see. Remember? Remember the 5th of November. Remember the torture. Oh. What are you trying to do? Beat Metal Sonic to the end. Oh, okay. Yeah. You've yeah, got it, to get it, to the it's, finish it's before he does. It's basically a Oh, fuck it. Sort of trying to do it without getting damaged, because there's an achievement for that. That'd be right. Ah! Uh oh. Death laser! 
Death laser bad! Go on! What's that, Steve? Death lasers are bad? I just thought it was a cheerful name that actually meant nothing. Go! Didn't, didn't Nicola Tesla First run. invent or was going to invent what you called a peace ray? And it was basically a death laser, the concept behind it all. What? You rescued Amy. Never mind. Run on the ceiling! <laughs> Anything <laughs> but Run on the ceiling! You glitch every Sonic game you touch! I, yes, I break everything I touch. Oh, the controls are took over for me. I couldn't do it anymore. You must be hugged! <laughs> Sonic's looking happy about the hug! His consent has been violated. I'd be more worried about the fact he's pooping out hearts. I think that's Amy. She's farting hearts. Fucking ew. So we've had a couple of stages of our Metropolis Zone now. This, oh, now shit. this is Factory of Death, Scrap Brain. So yeah, what, what, we, like... ju what we just saw, um, Stardust Speedway, was like... Um, Spring Yard. Sonic 1's... No, no it was Starlight. Starlight, Starlight Zone, reimagined. This is uh, Scrap Brain Zone, reimagined. Mm. Oh, uh, we thank this, fuck this one's... that it doesn't do underwater thing for, you know, act three. Yeah, this one's a bit more overt because you will get the... Uh, the this, those things. Mm. Yeah. The pizza cutters. Is this Meat Boy now? Apparently when they're ever featured, it becomes Meat Boy. Yeah, Adam's ears are perking somewhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh, believe me, that happens like with a lot of people on the internet. You know, uh, sort of me as an uh, indie game developer. Go oh, on. the future looks so garish. It's it's the past. Is it? Yeah. What was the future like on this one? Brown. Bad future is brown. Very brown. Very, <laughs> very, future, very, very good brown. Future. The good future is like sort of lighter shades of these colours. But you know, it's, less it's garish. Good oh, future fuck. of um, wacky workbench looks like it's like out straight out of My Little Pony, the old one. That's like all, you know, they built it out of sweets, and the the manager just suddenly decided he wanted to be a princess, which is fine. But you know, they built My Little Pony out of sweets. <coughs> yeah, I'm kind yeah, of that, that's that's the moral of the story. <laughs> Thanks for listening. Well, because you've not seen it, it's kind of hard to describe. But next time we play it, I will show you. Okay, whose goes it now? Mine! Oh, I get that bloody cavern! Like, uh, cavern? Drop. Death drop. Twiddly thing. No, you don't. I do. It's in, it's in Act 2 of... No, you don't. I don't know! No, you don't? Oh, that, that, that's no, cool. you don't. You just get, like, the longest stage in the game. You so, on, when is, so when is the... The death drop on. The death drop is the one Steve's doing. Yeah. Oh, oh, well, oh well, that's all right then. What do you mean that's all right then? That's all right for me. <laughs> so yeah, the sort of thing with the uh, circular saws. There's a lot of uh, people out there that will see any circular saw and say that uh, a game with it is a Meat Boy ripoff. As indie yeah. game developer, I have a friend. He's sort of doing something that uh, now, let's be honest, it actually is um, taking the Flappy Bird um, concept and expanding it. But he's got circular saws in it. And because he's and got people are saying sauce, it's like Meat Boy. Yeah. Just they because... They don't say it's like Flappy Bird, even though it is. They say it's like Meat Boy because it's got fucking circular sauce. Is this that ninja one? Yeah, it's the one with the ninja in. Uh, if, we, we're going to have to put the uh, URL in the description. It's called Shuriken. It's a great little game. It's kind of spelled Check wrong, it but yeah, it, it's, it's a fun little game. All you got to do is like tap the one button. I press space bar. You can probably tap the screen on Android, which you can also get it for. It's, it's, it's fun. It's simple, but it's fun. Alright, so, can't we just call him Hot Rod Hands instead? Because he did that in the film and that was in the 1980s. But the, the what? The, the buzz saws. The circular saws. Oh, I don't know. Hot Rod Hands. I don't know. Either way, I pimped, I pimped French shit, Steve. Yeah. For the fuck's sake, That's why fine. is the doors not opening? Yeah, we go a different way. <laughs> <laughs> the door's not opening, I'll try the door again. This is the second door. The other one's up there. I know. One does not simply walk through that door. Just wait on that thing. Wait on it. Yeah, wait on it. Wait on it, okay. Is it going to propel it? Yeah. Well, that, fucking out. Just a bit. That propels you disproportionate amount to the force it's kicking out. I know. <laughs> Robotnik doesn't physics, but when he does, <laughs> he breaks it. Why would you make living bombs that do fuck... Um, I've just come from here. Yeah, you gotta head up there. Oh, for fuck's sake. You know, th this this game is both a masterclass in design and a masterclass in how not to design. So, uh... So a masterclass in design. Yeah, yeah, it, it's it's all the do's and don'ts. It's just up to you, the player, to decide which is which. But that's not... Well, I'm a first-time right. player, pretty much, yeah? This has not been very nice to me. 
This, You've done well. As, You've as only far done as Sonic twice. games go, it, this is oh. this is the Marmite one of the series. Uh, I'm not saying it's a bad game, mind you. Just a bit. Let me in! <laughs> well, it's Robotnik's job to stop you. Yeah, Maybe. Maybe he just. Doesn't... I'm going the right way, right? Yes, you are now. I'm now, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh -huh. Actually, like, sort of. Uh, I won't. I won't spoil it. I'll, I'll tell you when when we get to the thing. I'm, I'm still going the right way, though. Yeah, you're going the right way. Right, good. Ah, oh, fuck off. You need those things. Yeah, what do oh, they do? yeah, they blend into the background. They're like stilts. What the fuck do you need them for? Because there's a jump because later on that's, that's too high. Oh, right, okay, so it literally is just extra jump clear. And stilts. Yeah. Sorry, you were saying? I don't just know what spoil it for you? No, oh, I'm going to say it when it happens. Oh, right, okay, all right, fine. Oh! This stage is all the dick moves. I suppose it's the last Factory of platforming death. level, isn't it? Steve! Yeah? Turn to mush. Oh, baby Sonic! <laughs> okay, so um, somehow, I don't know how, I managed to jump past that and I had to tackle this section as normal size Sonic this one time. And the last time we played this, I managed to jump past the laser that uh, restores him to normal size afterwards and finish the rest of the level as Tiny Sonic. Yeah. <laughs> Why wasn't he an unlockable character? You should be. Because yeah. people that make games don't care about you, Steve. No, they don't. Except me. I did that one thing you wanted. What was that one thing? I don't know. I'm just claiming I did. Be oh, right. Okay. Believe me, you know. <laughs> be the gullible person. I don't know. I probably did. <laughs> <coughs> Haven't you given me a, a, some feedback on a game and I did it? Uh... Yes. Maybe? I've just realised that Robotnik's last factory is a fucking raving disco in the background. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you know, that, that's why the Japanese soundtrack is uh, is superior, because it explains Robotnik's tendency you know, toward You know, you're the music. only one who's saying which one is superior. We're not. I, I know, I know, I'm just... You are such a fucking hypocrite. <laughs> I was sort of leaping on on, on the thing and ah. take, taking the piss out of it. You know, it's, it's irony. They're Keep both, telling yourself that. They're both <laughs> great soundtracks. I said that. You did. And we can quote you on it. Yeah. Sound and, and, and that that that's that's actually my uh, my final uh, final word on it. But uh, you know, when I say things like that, it, this is the right they're, way. They're right? quite obviously jokes. Yes, it's the right way. I am so. That's the wrong way. This way. Yeah, because it's a dead end. This is a confusing little place. Oh, right, I'm big, oh, I'm big Sonic now. Yeah, you didn't jump thing like I did. Well, you couldn't feasibly dodge that laser and stay small. Uh, I, I, I managed to. It's not just a... Oh, okay, it's not... I thought it was just basically to be a visual effect. Yeah, but is that a glitch that they might possibly have fixed with you? <coughs> I don't know. Uh, I, actually, I, I really don't know. Oh, for fucks! There's a pass controller. I'm... Uh, Doing well with this. No, I'm determined. This is not going to beat me. Except when it just did. Well, if I die again, then I'll concede defeat and pass the controller. Yeah. I don't think that's a fair cop, isn't it? Two lives and then pass the pad. Yeah, at least it gives you a second chance. Mm. Mulligan! <laughs> Mulligan! Oh, shit. Oh, for fuck! Right. <laughs> oh, right. Wait, I'll... Steve, yeah! Yeah! I can dodge the apparently really horrible level with a really horrible level. <laughs> Doesn't seem like a fair trade-off, does it? <laughs> no. Do th oh god, it is doing the thing. Do the thing. I wanted some rings, because, you know, this isn't really very good without rings. Do -do 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 -do. Do -do 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 That's the thing as well, like, they sort of changed this to the uh, Sonic 2, Sonic 3 and Knuckles method of locking up, meaning you've got to hold up for a few seconds before the screen actually scrolls up. On the original Sonic right, CD, no. you could look up a lot quicker just by double tapping up. Oh, which that's was mean. Harry was right near the fucking end. Yeah, it was far superior being able to look up quickly on that bit. Should I have a Who go? Who gets us? Who? I think Steve should give it a shot. Yeah. I'm ready. Let's do it, Steve. My body is ready. Go, Steve, go! Right. If I die, it's all your fault. This Ooh. looks. We will say something pretty at the funeral. Okay. Now we're in the wrecked ship from Super Metroid. Well, yep, this is the bad future. Yeah. That's because we all sucked and didn't 
fix everything. Oh, I'm not. Well, at least you're invincible, which is probably going to run out soon. The yeah, background details look like angry frogs. <laughs> yeah, and there's like a really smug cat in the foreground somewhere as well. What's yeah. Ring a bell. Angry frogs. Oh, it's that bloody ding ding thing, isn't it? What ding what? ding? Angry frog. No, oh, that was, that was that's crazy that's frog. Crazy oh, frog. wasn't it? We are just Close making enough, all the data pop culture references here. We because... are playing Sonic oh! 3. Fuck it, right. Yo, are you sure you don't want to let go? Uh, yeah. Okay, right, okay. Uh, towels have been thrown. Because all okay. your base all belong to us. Toys are out of the pram. Data pop culture references. Well, you know, Sonic CD, you know. It is kind of old. It invokes the 80s and the 90s. 90s mainly, because it Naughties? came out in the 90s. Yeah, noughties. It's the decade that wouldn't put its pants on. Uh. Yeah. So what 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 are we in now? Noughties. We're not we're not the noughties anymore, are we? Because it's oh yeah, we're, we're in the twenties. Oh, that sounds moronic. Twenties? Is that for real? Uh, I just said that right now, but it's the twenty teens. <laughs> twenty teens. Yeah, it's like twenty teens. Titties. So we're in the titties. So so I say I say twenties. I mean that up and Steve called me moronic. Sorry, it just sounds. Wrong, you know. I'm sorry. Well, nothing naughty sounds wrong, not for the obvious reasons, just because it sounds a bit stupid. Yeah, yeah, and that, that, derp face level. that wasn't the thing that I come up with. Naughty, that was some someone else. So you know, you know, coming up with twenties, I think, is actually far Internally superior. Internally consistent logic. So you have to. Oh, okay. Oh, we we'll get to see the awesome animation at the end. Yes, but we we Hopefully create a bad we, future. If, it doesn't matter. We still get the animated ending. Yeah, okay. You know, it doesn't jip you out of an ending just because you're shit. This is the final boss. Final boss, which I, I can wait for the safe bit or I can just, just uh, deck the, you just know, deck take the advantage of invincibility frames there. Hey, he flickers now. Yeah. yeah he, I think he does on the original, which it's not really the most consistent thing. <laughs> Whoa, that was cheap. Wait, that was, that was actually a good move. You should all congratulate me for that. No. This is a three-eyed frog right there. What? Oh, yeah. He's Wait. very angry. Well, they are all, all angry frogs. That one's angry because his mouth is so much lower down than it should be. <laughs> Alright, so you, you bash off the four saw blades that aren't saw blades, and then what? And then you just keep bashing it until he dies. Oh, okay. Uh, no, you just bash off the blades. Literally. <laughs> until he's, he's, he he's dies. Gonna, he's going to use this as a pogo, and uh, the next hit finishes him off. Very elegant no plan that he doesn't have. There we go. And everything blows up. So this breaks the stereotype of all the other bosses. They don't have a set that amount of hit points, do they? But they can be no. broken and changed. No, uh, Sonic CD's bosses are more yeah. sort of like little mini puzzles, mm. more than anything. And the planet's coming apart. See, like hatred myself. This is our favourite Sonic. Not like our favourite Sonic game, but this appearance. Yeah, appearance the, in the anime thing. He's drawn so well. I uh, I once went through the entire intro introduction and uh, ending uh, with a sort of sketch pad and uh, drew Sonic because the various shapes are so cool. And I noticed that there isn't a single. Um, He's never drawn symmetrical. Yeah, there's not a single symmetrical pose. Uh, and I think that's, Sonic. that's good. Just good design all over. You Why know, asymmetry is good. See, that, why isn't modern Sonic looking like that, though? Because that looks cool and I know, well, stuff. Yeah, they didn't need to give him attitude. He, he was already cool as fuck here. It's just some somebody in marketing decided that he needed big, long, noodly, five-mile-long legs. He needed, like, green eyes that look like he's uh, eyeing people up to take them into an alley and molest them. Look how cool that is! Yep, again, uh, that's, that's not even oh, a no, symmetrical pose. Oh, no, don't do the small thing. Oh, mind you, it's doing the, the PC thing, really, isn't it? Yeah, Sonic. I love this one, yeah. So... Hey, we did the thing. We survived the game. It's not a bunch of fail. See? Yeah. See, Steve? There you go. Look, Naruto Mishima, um, also known as Big Island, um, character designer. I'm not looking at the credits. I'm watching the anime. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, screw you. Yeah. So, why well, I care that human beings made this. So yeah. do I, but animation. The OVA movie with, you know, that... Um, I'm afraid of lightning. Yeah, yeah, the OVA was styled after it the animation style of this. It tried to be the, the animation style. It of even wholeheartedly really yanked. Work. It wholeheartedly yanked some uh, shots and poses, but it just it was like a poor copy. Yeah. No, but it is essentially the same story, isn't it? Metal Sonic being a complete shithead. Pretty much. But no. Sort of. With the, it's like same thing, but with more plot. 
I distinctly don't remember the bit where I was riding them. Well, you know, it's sort of a little a little creative license to make it look better as an animated feature thing. I guess. No, it does look cool as fuck. You remember this bit? I just did this bit. <laughs> Only viewed from above. Yeah, yeah, I, oh! I did it exactly like that. You know, three and one. This is such a cool game. I, I think we did awesome. Oh, I also did this bit. You know, you can remember it looking exactly like this. Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is so cool. Look at it. Like oh, sorry, we're we are two animators here. You know, we we studied yeah, we did, animation. Did animation at and university. this is like animation porn. Yeah. <laughs> this is brilliant. So yeah. We did Sonic C D, yeah, that was fun. We saved the world. But we didn't really, because it's gonna show us a lot of the big reveal yeah, again. We, dun, dun, dun. Yeah, we didn't get See, the good ending. These credits are showing off like BGM composed and arranged by Nofuma Hataya. He was the guy that uh, basically did the uh, soundtrack. Uh the there's no actual um, sort of credit there for um, for Spencer Nilsson, the guy that did the American one. Phoenix Wright there, right there also known as uh, Raiko Kodama. Phoenix um, Wright? Phoenix Rai. Oh, okay. Um, or Ri, Riko Kodama, actually. Phoenix Ri. She, uh, that's Riko Kodama, she did the uh, Fantasy Star, um, art for Fantasy Star 1, and uh, directed Fantasy Star 4. She also went on to do Skies of Arcadia, one of my favourite um, sort of game developers. Female. Great stuff. So we that's enjoyed it. our trip yeah, into awesome. Oblivion. But we suck, clearly, because look, look, my yeah, fuck. Try, try again. again. Well, it's been fun. Yeah. It's a band of success fail, sure. <laughs> See ya. Bye.